Welcome to Storage Treasures. Folks, I'm sure that most of you that engage in buying storage units online already know of this website, but if you do not, this is the probably one of the main go-to uh, storage auction online sites. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because this picture here looks like an all too familiar scenario of what I experienced a few months ago when I purchased a storage unit that contained medical records. It was an interesting video. I thought perhaps I was getting some boxes of fun paper, a box of clothes, but then it turned out to be boxes from a chiropractor who stored his documents in a storage unit and then decided to not pay on the unit and the unit was put up for sale and I was the buyer. Um, it was interesting. I was livid, outraged, considering that I worked in the uh, medical records field and knowing that the person allowed this to go up for sale, knowing because the, the storage unit facility told me they talked to him the previous day, giving him one last chance, and he said no, you know, those documents contain social security numbers, credit card numbers, all sorts of personal information, which brings us back to this. So this unit is at the Simply Self Storage in Allentown, uh, a minimum bid of $10. I do not think that they will get this bid unless someone wants to buy a fake tree and a birdhouse because of the contents. These boxes, it's not a mystery what is inside. Every single picture tells a story of what is in these boxes. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Peps discharge, purged peds. Uh, I think that says dead clients. I'm not sure. D. Deceased dead clients, so that's 2006. Try not to move very fast. Uh, inactive employees, 2012. Purged adults, LC, AAA, and PDA, 2012. More purged adults, 2015. Purged adults insurance plans. Well, you know that that has a lot of personal information on it. And it's just boxes and boxes of this. Let's take a look over here. Discharged adults, purged adults, 2014. Purged peds, employee. So, you know, this one even has a lid off. Oh, deceased. Deceased adults, clients. Just, uh, how the storage facility can sell these. I'm not sure. I don't know the, the legal, you know, the legality of it. I don't know if they're held responsible um, for selling these because what happens if someone purchases these and they take that information and sell it to who knows where over the interwebs. But this boggles my mind, and that is why I had to create a video. I don't know what would happen if I purchased this for $10, because again, if someone else buys this for more money than that, they're crazy. And I went to the facility and I said, I'm not cleaning this. You should be responsible for taking care of these documents, for shredding the documents. You know, you can Google is a storage unit responsible for medical information? Is a storage unit responsible for, you know, HIPAA information? The answers are far and wide. Some say yes, some say no, some say it's whomever held the documents before. The storage unit isn't liable, but I just, I can't wrap my head around it. Now, naturally, in many storage units, you do find personal information. You find social security cards, you find checkbooks, you find, you know, HIPAA related documents, um, 
medical documents. In those instances, some people do return them to the storage uh, facility. Sometimes the storage facility asks, if you find any personal information, please give it back to us. Others, they don't care. You can give it back to them. They might just put it in the trash or they say that they do not want it. What would happen in this case? This fake tree, this birdhouse and whatever this thing is over here, no one's going to buy the unit just for that. So you have deceased people's information. You have um, insurance policies. And I'm sure on many of these sheets in here, you have social security numbers, birth dates, home address, uh, checking information, banking information, credit card information, and perhaps even uh, medical information. Who is liable? Who is the storage unit at fault if these would get into the wrong hands? Should the storage unit even put this up for auction? Or should the storage unit just shred it? I don't know. I don't know the liabilities that the storage unit has, but it just boggles my mind that they see this type of stuff. It's not totes. It's not, you know, mattresses. These are information, private and privileged information. <sighs> of poor people that have passed away. Ah, goodness. I'm not buying this unit, I can tell you that, but I would just like your input and what you think um, should be done, or if you know of any uh, legal ramifications for this, or hey, you know, does it matter? What's the difference in buying a storage unit full of boxes of medical information and you know insurance information versus buying a storage unit from someone that has passed away and their family doesn't want anything in there or perhaps their family didn't even know that their loved one had a storage unit. Is there a difference? Um, I'm not sure, but when I saw this, I thought, oh, <laughs> this looks all too familiar. No thanks. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below about what you think should be done um, or about your view of this type of storage unit. And this is big. This is a 10 by 10 and it's filled. Oh, this is awful. Just awful. So yes, let me know your thoughts below, whether you think that the storage unit uh, should just take care of it themselves, whether they have any liability as to the contents, whether they should uh, tell the previous owner, whether their company or their new practice that they can just pick this up for free. They don't have to pay you know, back rent just for them to take care of it or what should be done. Because this again, it just boggles my mind that this information, one, is stored in a storage unit, which is not the right place at all, and two, what can be done and why these go up for sale when there is such um, private information inside. It's not just one person, it's how many people are in these boxes. Crazy. Mm -hmm.